we have concluded that just as the cases for many other nuclear reactors around the nation and around the world, that downwind, in the direction downwind, there are more people dying of diseases that we know are related to radiation. And the tragedy that happened is that all of us, scientists, physicians, physicists, way back in the 1950s when the first nuclear reactors were built, we did not understand the seriousness and the difference between the emissions from nuclear reactors and ordinary x-rays. And now we know that we underestimated the risk to the population by factors of hundreds to thousands of times, and that has now been confirmed in numerous independent publications, not only by my research group, the Radiation and Public Health Organization, of which I'm a co-founder and chairperson, but all over the world. For instance, if the European Commission on Radiation uh, Protection, um, sponsored by the uh, actually the European government, they issued a pamphlet, uh, a, a volume in 2003, and completely independently confirmed that we neglected the fact that the emissions from nuclear reactors are radioactive chemicals that get primarily into the milk and the drinking water and give internal doses hundreds to thousands of times greater than we ever had expected. You don't want to look at a circle around the plant because the downwind area gets much more, the upwind area gets much less, and when you average it out, it seems as if there are no effects. It's extremely important to look at the downwind area and compare it with the rest of the state and the rest of the United States. The predominant winds are from the southwest in the summer and from the northwest in the winter and we are experiencing some of these winds right now. We take the official statistics published by the state about how many babies are dying prematurely. And we're using the vital statistics of the state of Connecticut, which has one of the best registries for all kinds of diseases, especially cancer going back to 1935. And we found and find again and again that in the area downwind or where the reactor is located, there is a much higher incidence of infant mortality and children born with terrible defects. Many are born dead, and that we find again and again around the nation. It's published in books that we have published in scientific journals, and especially in peer-reviewed medical journals, of which our group alone has published 22 in recent uh, years. But the most important thing is that our findings have led other organizations all over the world to do studies, and a study has just been performed and published by the University of South Carolina. Uh, two statisticians examined 37 studies around the world, selected seven of the best, and found that independently, totally, statistically, there was a clear fact that downwind and near the reactors, there were many more people dying of cancer and leukemia, and especially children. The tragedy was that for reasons that are legally not clear to me at all, I was not allowed to speak at all in the court. And that is a great tragedy for this town, this nation, and the world that too often the governments who gave their blessing to nuclear power before we recognized the extreme danger, uh, they don't want to admit that they did the bomb testing, that hundreds of nuclear weapons were detonated in the 1950s and 60s, and that they left a terrible uh, Cause, you know, they represented an enormous new cause of cancer and death that have affected the entire nation's health care and the cost of health care, which is spiraling and driving many people into bankruptcy, especially when there are so many people in this nation who can't afford or have not been able to get health insurance.